are you using Google Analytics 4 or planning to use Google Analytics 4, also called GA4? If yes, then this video is for you. As you might already know, GA4 allows direct integration with BigQuery. In this video, I will give you five reasons why you should enable that integration and send your GA4 data to BigQuery. Before we dive into the video, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new videos from me. So if you're ready, let's dive in. The number one reason why you should send your GA4 data to BigQuery is the data ownership. When you leave the data in GA4, then you are limited by the interface that GA4 provides. It can also remove access to certain reports or modify the way the data is displayed to you. As a result, you might not be able to conduct the analysis that you need for your business. You will have to just work with whatever GA4 is displaying to you. However, by sending the data over to BigQuery, you will have access to the data in the raw format and you can conduct all sorts of analysis that you want. You're not limited to the reports that GA4 provides to you. The number two reason for sending GA4 data to BigQuery is data retention. By default, the data in GA4 is retained for only two months. However, you can change the GA4 data retention to 14 months. However, if you need to look back at the data that was collected before 14 months, then you are out of luck if you are only using GA4. But there is a solution with BigQuery. In BigQuery, your data is retained forever. You get to decide which data you want to keep there and for how long. So that's the number two reason why you should always send your Google Analytics 4 data to BigQuery. The number three reason for sending your GA4 data to BigQuery is to enable the verification of GA4 implementation. GA4 real-time reports are limited in their functionality. I have also noticed that a lot of data does not show up in real-time reports. It does not even show up in the debug view in GA4. This is particularly the case with a lot of e-commerce data, which makes real-time debugging of the implementation really difficult. And this is where sending the data to BigQuery can help. BigQuery has real-time streaming data in your intraday tables. The data shows up here within seconds. As a result, you will be able to verify the quality of your data and take corrective actions immediately rather than waiting for that data to show up in GA4 reports, which can take up to 24 hours. So that's your number three reason for sending the GA4 data to BigQuery. GA4 imposes certain limits on the data that's displayed in the reports. These limits result in sampling or thresholding in your reports. That means the reports that have thresholding or sampling applied won't show you every single data point. And that's your reason number four for sending the GA4 data to BigQuery. BigQuery does not have these limitations. Your data is unsampled and there is no thresholding limit. And finally, the number five reason for sending the GA4 data over to BigQuery is the cost. BigQuery charges based on the data storage and usage. There is also a free tier in BigQuery. For most of the small and medium-sized businesses, that tier is going to be sufficient, which means you'll get BigQuery for free. And even if your site gets a lot of traffic, by effectively managing the data that you store in BigQuery and writing efficient queries, you can keep the cost very low and sometimes even free. If you want to learn more about how to do that, then check the link in the description of this video. I have a course that goes into the details of how to effectively use BigQuery with GA4. So that's it. These are the five reasons that should convince you to connect GA4 with BigQuery. There are several more reasons and advanced use cases that I will cover in the future videos. If you need help, with GA4 and BigQuery, then I have two options for you. One, you can check out the link for the courses that I have created on both these subjects and several others. And the second option is for you to use our consulting services. The link to contact me is also in the description of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment for me. 
I will see you in the next video.